Okay, this video is the pro one of the projects that I said I was going to work on this uh, off-season. Uh, this area here, when you first come in the door of an A-Line or Scout light, you have this cabinet here. Worked out really good for Porta John, but we're going to work out something different with the back to where our old refrigerator used to be. And so now we're going to use this same compartment for our new cooler that we have. And this is a uh, cooler I got on Amazon. I'll put the uh, descriptions in the comments below so you can, if you're interested in something like that. This is a 110 R110 or you know, 110 R12 volt hookup. It's got both hookups for it. We're going to use it and configure it with the 12 volt hookup. And we're going to, we've got that already sized up to fit in this hole. And so right now we're working on getting a conversion. We're going to put a 12 volt socket in there for that hookup. And that's going to go in this area. Hole here. We cleaned it out. Put all the bedding back. And uh, the trick here is we're going to use the 12 volt that is over here and goes out to the light, the porch light outside. We're going to tie into that and we're going to probably bring that around and bring it around the front edge. Tricky part here is we're going to put some kind of switch right here. I want to have a switch where I can turn that off and turn that on. And the switch we ha I have is this toggle switch right here. And it, it glows green whenever it's on. And that's going to have to mount up in here. That'd be a little difficult because there's I was hoping to just just paneling, but on this side you'll see it's thick right here. So it's going to come through this real thick area, and then we're going to have that tied into our lighter plug here that we're going to have mounted. I think we're going to mount it in here somehow, like this, facing down, and uh, that way we can plug in that one. Or actually, that's a 12 volt, and. Uh, for now, we're not going to hook up the 110 with the 110 hookup. We're going to see what kind of how much juice that pulls, and if that's an issue later, we may may bring a an electrical 110 plug over here. That way, we can this cooler will go either way. It has a converter, so it can go 12 volt, or it can go the 1 110, and then it converts down to a 12 volt. So we're going to go with this now, and I'll. I'll put some of this together and then we'll take a look at it, how it turns out. Here you'll see we have a, a drill bit and it's a 15 16th. That's the size that this switch is. Um, got the switch at a auto parts store and uh, this, this is, works out for a good 12 volt setup. Okay, you'll see this is our uh, plug that we're going to use. It's a 12 volt plug and it has this flat surface that you put up against the wood. Uh, the screws that come with it, you'll see them here. They're make sure they're not too long to go through the wood. And uh, you want to, this material is really thin, so you want to use a small drill bit to, uh, to keep that from splitting out your wood. So you want to use this drill bit to make pilot holes.
I'm not sure if you can see that, but if you see that on there, it shows that you basically have a you have a ground, a power, and a load. So what I've done now is I'm gonna I've made me up some wires. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now, but I'm gonna bring basically a ground, which is that white wire over there, and the black wire is your power, and that's gonna come around and it merges into this complex here and plugs in here and then I've got my plug in here so that that load will come off to feed that and I'll put a diagram on here on the end of this so you can kind of get an idea of what I did so we'll get this tied in now Okay, after looking at that wiring diagram, I can say you'll notice the switch here, and this is all tied in here. Using these um, wire connectors works out pretty good because it's really tight in here. You don't want any of that to touch. So that runs through, and I've run it through these connectors here. And I may take some zip ties and tighten that down. And at this point, Unfortunately, I didn't have a white wire. I used to have red wire for my other ground. So I'm going to keep the continuity of the black being the positive. So the black will tie in here. The red will tie into the white, which is actually the ground. It comes around and ties in. So we'll get her tied in and see how well it works. Okay, I've got everything in. Got the refrigerator in. Got it plugged in here. Run through the one of the actual 12 volt hookup. Wires here all tucked in. It's everything here. And I'm gonna give it a good test out here. Nice thing about this refrigerator, it stores all your settings even when you turn it off. So I put the switch in here to turn on the refrigerator. So this is running strictly off of a 12 volt right now. So turn this on. Got a green light. We look over, we'll hear the refrigerator kicking on. Now I've got this one set in Celsius right now. I haven't figured out how to get it in Fahrenheit. I'm sure there's a way, but right now I've got it set for 2 Celsius, which I think is about 38, 39 degrees. So we're going to see how that works out. My only concern is you can hear the fan. And unfortunately this is where I sleep at right here so it's right under my head so I'm a little concerned about how that's going to be in the future if it something that I hear quite a bit I think what I'm going to do is take some foam in here and fill it with foam that way I won't hear that because once it gets up to temperature it only runs every probably every 15 20 minutes it'll kick on for about I don't know maybe about three or four minutes so we'll see how that works and I'll let you know how that works but all in all I'm pretty happy with this setup so that's all I have for this project uh, have any more questions on it I'll put the details about the refrigerator um, in in the comments below and our next project will be this taking the old refrigerator out of here again like I showed you before and we did get our rails in real heavy rails are rated for 250 pounds so you see the rails right here and like I say that'll be our next project so have any more questions just uh, leave it in the comments